Hello, welcome to the show. Thanks for your view. I appreciate you. Today I am going to do a hunt in Rathskeller Fork, just north of Tumbleweed. An important thing to note about hunting this location is it's only good during the daytime because these birds only spawn during daylight hours. The exact time I'm not sure about. I think it's like 7 or 8 a.m. to about 6 p.m. I don't know for sure though, so don't quote me on it. I'm going to try and figure that out and I'll let you know in a future hunt if I do figure it out. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new. Now, this location has many spawn points for top tier birds. I'm going to show you an overlay map right here. There are, that I know of, five vulture spawns, six hawk spawns, and one condor spawn. Well, that map might not be 100% accurate, but it's pretty close. And what I'm doing here is I come up here, I'm going to eat some food, make sure my guns are clean, and then I go into the online menu and select free roam and load back in. Okay, now that will properly log me out of the server and save the fact that I filled my cores and that I cleaned my guns. But when you free roam, when you log back in, it causes core loss. So don't be alarmed when you fill up your cores and log back in and your cores are lower than they were when you logged out. That's going to happen. And then in the future, when I go and I want to switch servers again, instead of choosing free roam, I'm going to close the application. Because what that will do when I log back in, it will default back to the last time I properly logged out, which is this logout right now. So instead of free roaming again in the future and causing more degradation of my core, I will close the application so when I log back in, it always will log me back in in the current state you're seeing now. My cores are always going to be like 80% full when I log in after closing the application now because they were full when I properly logged out last time. It's like a default save now because I'm going to be crashing the game in order to log out here in the future. It will go back to the default. Otherwise, this period here where I'm killing these hawks and farming these animals would cause my guns to get dirty and my cores to deplete. And then when I go to free roam and switch servers, it saves that degradation of my cores and my guns. And then when I log back in, it causes even further core loss. We don't want that. So we close the, ap the application in order to prevent further core draining and to prevent the weapons from getting dirty. It's definitely a glitch and an exploit. You know, some people might not want to do that. But realistically, if you just go into free roam and load back in repeatedly, your cores are going to drain so fast that you're going to need to eat, you know, a piece of meat every time you log in. It's kind of ridiculous. So... I mean, do you want to be eating a piece of meat every time you log in, or do you want to just log in and do some killing? I personally just want to log in and do some killing. And another thing that's a benefit to this, see, I'm quitting the application right now. I'm going to log back in, and it's going to log me right back into the, the same spot I was at before. So now I'm going to have, my cores are still going to be 80%, and I'm going to log right back into the same spot, right just out, outside of Rascolor's Fork. So then I can run down to the butcher as well and sell. So this this time when I kill everything, I'm going to load the horse up and head down to the butcher. And you can see there's quite a few birds I take now. I think I get five birds here at, on this spawn. There's two. And when I shoot this one, another one flies up. See, there's, there's two vultures now. So that's four. And then I'm pretty sure while I'm skinning one of them, another one appears on top of the um, pavilion. But anyways, back to the glitch part is when I go down to the butcher and I close the application down to the butcher and I log back in afterwards, it defaults to the most recent properly logged out save, which was earlier in the show. And that's right before I logged out when I ate the food to get my cores up, that position is saved as the last spot that I logged out properly. 
So when I close the application down by the butcher, it simulates a crash. So when I log back in, it goes back to the last default save, which is right up here at Rascaller's Fork. So that logs me right back in to Rascaller's Fork. It's like a free fast travel to any position on the map. So the first time you just have to set it up by properly logging out where you want to do this exploit at. And then in the future after that, you just close the application to come back in. Now while you're up here, check out that there's three horse medicines, three horse revives, and three horse stimulants along with two oat cakes at this location. And I tried picking up those after closing the application. Like, I'm going to close the application and then try again, but I don't think I have that recorded. And it, they're gone. So, apparently Xbox, or I'm sorry, not Xbox, Rockstar has fixed the exploit where we would be able to close the application and it would not save item pickups. So now I guess that we can't exploit that any further, because I do have a video on that in the past. Just a heads up, it doesn't seem to work anymore. But if you were doing that exploit, then you probably already realized that before I have. Because that's not something I really do. I was just putting it out there so everybody knew about it. I craft most of my tonics. You know, um, as far as oat cakes, I don't really care so much about that. I buy hay from the stable if I don't, you know, have apples. And apples, you can pick up 15 of those down by the bee in Braithwaite Manor. There's a little house by a fire by the B in Braithwaite Manor. Pick up 15 apples at that location. Every uh, 24 hours real time you can pick up 15 apples there. So that's actually a really good spot to get some horse food. If you're not familiar with that location, go check it out. I do have a video that shows that. It's called After Battle. And it's uh, after episode 9 of the Slippery Bastard series. So it's right at the beginning of that video it shows that apple location. If you need some horse food. And now we're at the butcher selling up. I end up making $47.49, 274 XP in 17 minutes and 36 seconds. I started the clock right uh, when I arrived at Rascaller's Keep or Fork on the way up. And I ended it when I sold the last item at the butcher. I'm going to be doing some future hunts here and see if I can improve this rate at all. So be sure to subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you next time. Until then, happy hunting and happy trails.